of July, everyone. How is your celebration so far? I know a lot of you are at events, parties, get-togethers with families, and I know some of you are barbecuing or still eating. Later on, we're going to have fireworks as well in some of the different areas here in the Southland. So happy, happy 4th of July. Welcome to Cabo Bayan today. This is America's first and only daily talk show for and about the Filipinos, where my name is Janelle Sawyer, Cabo Bayan in Los Angeles. I want to invite you to please keep us. Um, we're going to provide you background music with your parties or for your parties today. And I'm talking about that because we are having brilliant strings performers on the show starting off with our Kababayan pride of course Abe, hello, and welcome to Kababayan today. Hello. Great <laughs> to be here. The last time that you were here, Abe, um, you were on your way to a competition in Washington, D.C., mm -hmm. and I remember that was such an accomplishment for a Kababayan like yourself. Mm -hmm. What was it like? Tell us about it. It was a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Mm -hmm. um, the competition you're referring to is called the Thelonious Monk International Jazz Competition, which is the world's most prestigious uh, jazz competition. Um, it, it was held in Washington, D.C., uh, semi-finals were at the Smithsonian Museum, so I got to perform there. What a um, trip! It was great. Uh -huh. was amazing. Uh -huh. And then after that, semi-finals after that? Unfortunately, I didn't make the top three finals, but I did. I was able to attend the concert, you know, um, being a participant. Who did you see? I'm sure you saw a lot I of I got your... to meet uh, Herbie Hancock, Wayne Shorter, you know, Vinnie Collier, pretty much my all my jazz heroes, you know. Right. Um, it was a drumming competition, so the judges were all drumming heroes of mine, so I got to talk to them and shake their hands and take pictures with them, so it was, it was amazing. Congratulations. You know, you talk about it with a, with, with a glow in your eyes, and it, it makes me feel like you really, really had a great time, so congratulations. We're Thank proud you. of you. Thanks. Also, the last time that you were here, it was still Cabo Bay in L.A. We just changed our name to Cabo Bay in today because we're now syndicating in Hawaii on Kiku, Monday to Friday at 3.30 p.m., and I know that you're from Hawaii, right? Yes, yeah, I'm from Hawaii. You moved here to L.A. for music? Uh, yeah, I pr uh, pursued my career as a musician. I uh, moved out here... Uh, uh, about six years now. What do you miss about the islands? Do you still go back? How often? I go back fairly often still for work and to visit my family. Um, most thing I, that I miss is the food. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the food, the, food, the yeah. weather, just the yeah. lifestyle. Yeah, all my friends seen. are there. Right, know. right. Yeah. But also, that's where you got, I guess that's where you started playing the ukulele. You're also a drummer. You're a drummer. I'm a drummer, yeah. But then you also picked up uh, the ukulele, right? And you yeah. pick it up every so often? Uh, every so often. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I actually picked up the ukulele and started getting serious about the ukulele when I left Hawaii. So it was one of those things where I gained more of an appreciation of where I, I come from when you actually leave you know your home right so, you know so I was living in Boston I was in college at the time and that's where I picked up the ukulele mm -hmm. so I could play those familiar songs that I grew up listening to because it, it brought you back closer exactly, to home right right, right. right. and uh, you shouldn't stop playing because you're you're an amazing <laughs> drummer but an equally amazing ukulele player if you don't believe me watch this <laughs> 